how to add gmail link to your canva design hey everyone and welcome i hope you're all doing great in this video i'll show you step by step how to add your gmail link to canva meaning if somebody actually clicks on it they will be able to just send you out an email right away without without having to input your uh, gmail account themselves so this is just going to make your communication a lot easier for them they just click on the link and it's just going to redirect them to their email app where they can just go ahead and add, you know, the topic, subject, whatever it may be. So how do we actually achieve this? First, you would want to add a design and you would want to add email to it. So I'm just going to find a resume and I'll just use that as an example. So I have found this one and obviously this is a resume, but you can feel free to use any design whatsoever. So it's not going to make a difference. Now, the first thing obviously is you would want to, you know, replace the images and whatnot. And once that's done, you have two options when it comes to adding your Gmail and Canva. The first way is going to be like this, where you have text and you want to make it clickable. So once they click on it, they can just go ahead and message you right away. Or the other type is actually adding an, a mail icon and people can also click on it and it's going to do the same function. So let's just go ahead and get to it. So the first thing, let's just go ahead and start with the text. So you'd want to just go ahead and find uh, a mail section and just go ahead and replace it. If you don't have one, you can just simply add normal text and it's going to work exactly the same way. If you have one, you can just go ahead and double click on it and replace it. So you can just do example at uh, gmail.com like so. Uh, and, you know, you can just go ahead and change it to your actual mail that you want them to contact you with. Uh, and now it's not going to remain clickable. And by the way, I did not actually mention this, but there's a downside, down, downside to this entire thing is that it actually requires to be a PDF at the end. So you actually need to export it as a PDF to make it clickable. Anyways, moving on. So you would want to just go ahead and highlight the entire text, double click on it and then highlight it with the control A to make things easier. And then once you highlight any text, you will find a few options right on top of it, not the one straight to the top here but this one right here uh one of those is going to be the link option so just go in and click on that and then you would want to basically add the same email over here which is example at gmail.com and just go ahead and hit enter click on done and you will find it to, to actually be now mail to colon and then your email which is you know supposed to be this way but Thankfully, Canva does the thing for you. So just go ahead and add your email. Click on done. It should be done for you. If not, you will just need to add mail to colon and then straight away your email address. Now you can notice when with the text format, it's actually going to underline the entire thing. So you can feel free to remove it if you don't like it. Just highlight it again and just go to the top where you will find underline option. Check it off and you're pretty much set. Now the other alternative to it is going to be adding a, an element and you can add the email to it. Where you can just go to the elements section, search up email, and you will have a lot of graphics that you can actually use. For example, this one, drag and drop, and let's just go ahead and make it a little bit smaller. And you can actually make it clickable as well by just going and click on it, click on the three dots right on top of it, and click on link, which should be down here. And again, just go ahead and add the link or the email, sorry. And just click on done and it should turn to mail to and then the email click on done and you're pretty much good to go. The only thing left for you to do is just go ahead to the share button on the top right. Click download and make sure whether it's going to be PDF standard or PDF print. Nothing else is going to work. So make sure it's either PDF standard or PDF print. This way people will be able to just click on the actual link uh, and just hit download and you're pretty much good to go. So this is all for this video. Hopefully you found it to be helpful and thanks for watching.